Garing is a pretty normal town, small town in Nebraska. Everything is hands-on in agriculture. It's just one big family here, which is very nice. It's like a great community to live in, but not much goes on. The school is the center of the, of the community. It's kind of helps provide an identity for the town. We talk about having a small town atmosphere with big school, big town opportunities, and we really feel like that's what we have. And I think the Solve for Tomorrow program in Gehring has been a terrific example of how that can play out. In the very first year that we uh, were part of the Samsung Solve for Tomorrow, uh, we looked at the overuse of herbicides and pesticides in our valley. Our goal was to design an agricultural herbicide spraying system that would not just help our local community, but farming communities globally. Because there was only seven kids, very little money, we basically just did whatever it would take and got more community support and figured out ways to overcome those hurdles so we could compete. And the whole community came alive in support of this project as they saw the progress that the students were making through the state level first and then on to the national. Garing High School from Nebraska, come on up. To know that they won, I was like, wow. I was like, I hope that one day I could be able to do something like that. Kind of pumped me up as, a, as an old guy to see that the young generation is, uh, is as uh, capable as they are. There's really nothing better than being able to watch kids go places that you didn't think they were going to go. And they just, they just went there because they had the chance. When we returned after winning, it was like we were overnight celebrities in the town for, you know, parent-teacher conferences for the next year became more parents asking how their kids could get into the program. It really made me want to sign up for the classes even more. We went from seven kids to two full classes, which would have been about 50 to now about 147. The Solve for Tomorrow program was just been a catalyst for um, the growth of STEM programming, not just at our high school, but it has pushed STEM programming into our junior high. It has pushed it into our elementary schools. It has become something that our kids are excited about. Our group became so much bigger when we found out that we could be the change that changes something in our community. By the time year two came around, I mean, we had a solid idea. But of course, you know, you're competing against thousands and thousands of schools from around the country. But yeah, we competed anyway. And we went into year two and actually made it all the way to nationals again. Samsung started Salford Tomorrow 10 years ago. And over those 10 years, the most winning school in the country out of 20,000 entries is Gearing High School. So congratulations. That positive buzz that that generated helped to be able to get our community to agree to increase their taxes so that we could build a new school that would be better equipped to um, offer programming like the, the STEM program that we have in place now. So as uh, Gearing High School's nonprofit partner, when they received the award, we received $20,000 gift as a partnership for them. We decided to invest it in students and start a scholarship fund. It's Humbling that the University of Nebraska is now offering a STEM scholarship. That scholarship alone will probably touch as many kids as, you know, these computers will. You can take students from endless backgrounds and you can put them in a room with one common goal. And I think that's really kind of like the glue that holds these classes together and these kids. With this Samsung Sulfur Tomorrow competition, I feel like I can actually contribute something and actually be able to help people. I really didn't think that I would be making contributions to a society that might actually change the way we live. Our kids can see how what they're doing is affecting our community and that they want to make a difference here and they want to make a difference wherever they're going to go. And a program like this gives them the chance to do that. Basically, they all saw that they're not just from small town America, that there's really nothing out there that they cannot achieve.